Good morning or afternoon, depending on when you're watching this. Uh, it's Thursday, July 1st, and Megan and I are here down at the Vineyard Center, mm -hmm. and we've got exciting news. If you haven't heard yet. If you haven't heard yet. <laughs> I think most people have heard, yeah. uh, but we're going to give some bit of clarity on what this news is. But for worship services, all restrictions um, have been lifted as of today. So I think we are the, the first uh, as far as um, worship services go and as far as kind of things lifting in BC uh, for all restrictions lifted, worship services. Yeah, uh, so excited. Came first, so that's yeah. great. And uh, we're really excited. So what does that mean? That means that there is no longer online sign up. That means that there is no longer uh, capacity limits. Uh, we are just open. And um, uh, it also means that uh, masks are uh, optional. optional. Mm -hmm. If you want to wear a mask, you're free to wear a mask. Uh, if you don't want to wear a mask, you don't have to wear a mask. Yeah. Uh, so just totally optional. Um, what else is there? There's uh, social distancing. Uh, we can sit close together again. Yeah. Uh, if you want to hug somebody Sunday morning, you can hug somebody Sunday morning um, if they want to be hugged <laughs> and they want to be approached. Um, so how we've set the space up is um, uh, we've got kind of the first front few rows where you can get in close and sit with people again and uh, not have to worry about distancing. But if you aren't comfortable with that yet, there's spaces uh, still throughout the space where you can, um, you know, keep still keep social distancing if you um, want to. And uh, I would just ask that everybody has grace for everybody through yeah, this period. Yeah, that's right. Um, we are all at different places along this. There's some people who have been vaccinated. There's some people who have not been vaccinated. Um, there's some people who are uh, immune compromised. Uh, many different factors at play when yeah. you come into a space with a whole bunch of different people, a yeah. uh, different uh, mix of people. So be respectful, uh, have grace for each other. Um, there is no like one way that's like, oh, this is the right way and I'm doing it the right way. Yeah. Um, you know, there's no, uh, let's not get into any self-righteousness places where we feel like we've elevated ourselves to a certain level. Uh, let's just love on each other, yeah. have respect for each other, have grace for each yeah. other, and let's get back together in community. Yeah. Uh, let's see one another. Um, you know, there's nothing really holding us back from that now. Mm -hmm. um, there will be masks at the door. There will be hand sanitizer throughout. Uh, the space as well still. Yeah. Um, we think that washing hands is probably here to stay and keeping our hands clean is a good thing yes. going forward uh, for society. So that's probably sticking around. Um, what else? Yeah, I just would, we just want to be mindful that there are some people who aren't comfortable with physical contact at yep. this point. And if you want to give someone a hug, uh, maybe ask first or just be aware of maybe who is feeling a little bit uncomfortable. And um, we just really want to respect one another's space. Yeah. Um, you're free to hug if you want to, but also feel safe to just say, you know what, I'm not ready at this time or um, that's not going to be safe for me. Uh, so we just want to be mindful of where everyone's at. Some people are feeling anxious. Some people People are feeling ready to go. Everyone's in different places, and we just want to make sure that we are being kind to everyone, no matter where they're at. Yeah, totally. And, and you don't know people's stories uh, yeah. through and through of what's going on. Yeah. Um, uh, medically, uh, you don't know the medical histories. You know, a lot of different reasons why yeah. somebody might say, you know what, I'm, I'm, I'm going to keep my space. Yeah. So let's be gentle with each other. Let's yeah. let's have grace for each other. Yeah. And uh, but let's get together and let's worship. Yeah. So with uh, that being said, we are extremely excited. This is huge. This is. Um, 18 it's months. Amazing. 18 months yeah. that this has been yeah. going on. It's going to be really surreal, I think, on Sunday. But it is. We're very yeah. excited. Yeah. So, no sign up required. You can just come on down. Uh, hopefully, um, we can, you know, get lots of people in here that we haven't seen for a long time, um, and and have lots of grace. And then, as a, as another note, going out into uh, the local businesses, uh, local community, uh, stuff like that. Um, there are some businesses that are going to require masks still, even though it's a it's a um, optional thing even mm -hmm. going forward now. And uh, just if, can we show Christ's love out there? Um, I've seen so many videos of people that are proclaiming the name of Jesus and causing complete ruckuses in businesses and fights, and mm -hmm. and it's just it's just crazy to me to see this going on. Like you don't know the business that what's going on behind the scenes, and just just as a quick picture of what could happen, um, businesses still can be shut down. COVID has not disappeared. Uh, July 1st does not mark that COVID um, has just been wiped out and it's totally gone. 
and this is still something that is present and we are still working through and um, and there are still regulations out there um, for businesses and if a business does uh, have an outbreak in their business they have to close their doors for a while and so businesses have to make a decision right now um, you know what what do we feel is the right approach going forward and can we afford to be shut down for two weeks if there was a COVID outbreak. And some of them might say, no, we can't be. Uh, that would devastate our business. So we just ask that you would wear a mask when you come into our business, right? And so there's gonna be um, people on, on all sides of this. And uh, as followers of Christ, we're gonna have grace for everyone through this process. And uh, we're gonna show the love of Christ through it. So anything else we gotta add to that? No. Kids Corner. We got Kids Corner in the back over there uh, for the kids for the summertime. Um, Zoe, last Sunday, if you didn't catch it, go back and rewatch last Sunday. Uh, Zoe has stepped down as our kids' ministry leader after uh, faithfully serving for two years. We love her. She has decided she needs to really focus in on her family uh, going forward for this next. Um, however long that is her her kids need to be her main focus mm -hmm. and uh, so she is going to be focusing on them and and just pouring her love directly into her uh, her kids and so that position is also available <laughs> so coming into the fall we are going to be um, looking for a new um, children's uh, pastor kids ministry leader uh, but for the summer kids corner is going to be back there and there's going to be lots of activities for the kids to do and uh, and have fun with yeah that's about it. That's it for now. That's about it. Well, yep. enjoy your day. It's a little bit cooler. Um, I don't know. Go have a dip in the lake if you can. <laughs> Love you guys. And uh, we'll hopefully we'll see you here Sunday.